Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Molly. I've been a Penn Foster Vet Tech student since January. And I just wanna jump in really quick. If you have found this video, most likely you already know about Penn Foster. So you know their basic outline and model and how they work. Um, probably your first question is, are they a legit school? Yes, they definitely are. I'll put a link in the description that you can go and see what's accredited. So you can go, this is an accredited school, that means that you can go after you graduate and you can get a license and be a licensed vet tech. So it is a legitimate school. Um, it has actually been recommended to me by vets that I know personally. So that's awesome. Um, a great thing about the program is that you don't have any delay to start. So you sign up and the day you sign up, you already get access to all of your classes. So your first, I mean, I think it's five classes are all online. There's no textbooks or anything like that. Everything's online. So you can go ahead and start getting through those while you're waiting for your books to ship. Um, the first set of classes are probably, most of them are like one or two credits. So you can get through them pretty quickly. It took me about a week to get through them, but I was spending a lot of time on them um, each day. And that brings you up to biology and um, the biology class takes longer to do. It's a three credit class. Um, so my main thing is that it works for a lot of people really, really well. It works for me personally really well, but I can see where people would struggle. There's a lot of reading, like, and what I mean by a lot of reading, I brought an example. So this is the biology book. Um, it is, Oh, I would say it's close to, yep, it's 647 pages long. Um, so you do read this whole thing for one class. Um, and it is a lot, but it does have a lot of pictures in it. And, um, you know, it's not 647 full pages. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a lot of reading. So you have to be prepared and aware that you're going to be doing a lot of reading your, on your own. Um, I also think the type of person Penn Foster would probably work best for is somebody who's a self-starter. So what I mean by that is like, there's nobody putting any time limit. Since it's self-paced, you have a year to take one semester. So there's nobody like calling you, there's no deadlines, there's none of that. You set all of that on your own and it will help you give recommended deadlines. So say you wanna finish by a certain date, you can set that date in their program and Penn Foster will give you um, dates that you would need to finish each section of your schooling. But if you pass that date, you don't get any, there's no um, rep, you know, repercussions or anything. So I can see where somebody who maybe isn't self-motivated and, and somebody that maybe needs pressure from a teacher or, well, yeah, I mean a professor, they might struggle a little bit with this online formatting. That doesn't mean that you can't do it. It may just be a little more difficult. Um, I, I think there's many people out there that'll go and, and they'll be perfectly fine because they don't have any problems setting schedules for themselves and setting dates to finish stuff. Um, it just, you just have to know yourself personally. Um, one of the main questions I think that a lot of people ask is how long it takes to get through the program. So since it's self-paced, you can do it quicker than average or you can do it longer than average, which is a really great option to have. Um, it is around 72 credits, so that is technically, in a traditional school, that would be two years of schooling, um, probably including one or two summer classes. So two years is, I don't, I wouldn't say that's average for Penn Foster, I'd say probably three years is more average, um, but that has a lot to do with the kind of people that are taking on. A lot of the people that go for this kind of option may have children or may have a job, so they're not able to spend eight hours a day working on it. Um, I have heard of people finishing in as early as 13 months. Um, some of them have classes that have transferred from their old schools, so that helps them get through faster. Um, but you do have that option to be accelerated, which is great. Um, overall, I have been really happy with Penn Foster. Uh, I'm currently carrying a 4.0, so their classes, I don't wanna say that they're easy, um, but, they give you all the information you need for your tests. I'm currently in ANP one and I'm about, I have two tests left on that. Um, there is a proctor exam. The proctors happen at the end in the first semester. It's at the end of bio and the end of ANP one and two. Um, and 
Um, those basically, you have an hour. They're short, answer, short essay answers and long essay answers. Um, so you, about, you have about three long essay answers, and I think it was between nine and 13 short essay answers. Um, so that format can be a little bit difficult for some people um, because it's not multiple choice, you're just pulling from your memory. However, Penn Foster gives you um, a very good outline of what you need to study and they give you a lot of resources in order to do that. I am going to be doing more videos in more in depth in each aspect of Penn Foster, but I wanted to get those questions answered because I think that those, are, those were the big questions for me personally. Is it legit? How long does it take to get through? Um, how difficult is it? So on the difficulty, I would say that it's an average college class, except for you have to be self-motivated to go out and do the studying yourself. Um, so go ahead and if you want to follow along with the more detailed videos I'm going to have, go ahead and subscribe and like, and I hope to see you soon.